Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Now remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one. So let's find the perimeter of this rectangle. And we can do this by adding the lengths of all of the sides. So perimeter equals, well, we have 13 yards on these two sides and then five yards on these two sides. So we have 13 plus 13 plus five plus five. And now we can add 13 plus 13 is 26 plus five is 31 plus five is 36. So the perimeter is 36 yards. That's the distance around that rectangle. Now I do wanna mention it doesn't matter what order you add those side lengths in. You'll get the correct perimeter however you do it. So something to keep in mind. Now as far as rectangles go, we can also find the perimeter by, let me write this out, perimeter equals, well, multiplying the length by two, and I'm going to use a cursive L so it doesn't look like a one, plus, and then multiply the width by two. So we can use this formula as well, just a different way to set it up. Essentially, it's the same thing. You can see that we have two 13s here and then two fives. So two times the length, plus two times the width. Now I'm going to use the longer side for the length, 13, and then five for the width. Let's plug these in. So perimeter equals two times 13 plus two times five. So now let's work through this. And remember, we always multiply before we add. So we need to do two times 13 and two times five. So perimeter equals, well, two times 13 gives us 26, plus two times five gives us 10. Now we can add 26 plus 10 gives us a perimeter of 36 yards. So we get 36 yards that way as well. So for the perimeter of a rectangle, either way will work. We can either add all of the side lengths or we can do two times the length plus two times the width. Now, one more thing I do wanna mention before moving on to number two, if we were to switch the length and the width, for example, use five for the length and 13 for the width, we're still going to get the correct perimeter. And for number one, we're still going to get 36 yards. So don't get too held up on that. Again, I used the longer side for the length. Let's move on to number two and find the perimeter of that rectangle. Now you'll notice that we are only given two sides. We have 32 centimeters right here and nine centimeters right here. Well, since this is a rectangle, we know that the opposite sides are going to be the same length. So across from 32 centimeters, is going to be 32 centimeters. Across from nine centimeters is going to be nine centimeters. I also included tick marks to show this. One tick mark right here matches one tick mark right here. That shows that those sides are the same. They are both 32 centimeters. And then two tick marks right here matches two tick marks right here showing that those sides are the same. They are both nine centimeters. And then I also included these symbols to show that these are all right angles, 90 degree angles. I wanted to include all of these symbols in case you come across them. That way you'll know what they mean. So something else to keep in mind. Now, as far as the perimeter, let's add all of the side lengths. So perimeter, equals 32 plus 32 plus nine 
plus 9. 32 plus 32 is 64, plus 9 is 73, plus 9 is 82. So we have a perimeter of 82 centimeters. Now let's also multiply the length by 2 and the width by 2 and then add those. So let's do it that way as well. So perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Let's use 32 for the length. So 2 times 32 plus and then 9 for the width. So 2 times 9. Let's multiply now. 2 times 32 is 64 plus 2 times 9 is 18. 64 plus 18 gives us a perimeter of 82 centimeters. So we get the same perimeter that way as well. Now again, I do want to mention I used the longest side for the length in both of these examples. If we do switch up the length and the width, we're still going to get the correct perimeter. So don't get too held up on which is the length and which is the width. If you want to keep it consistent, just go with the longest side for the length. So there you have it. There's how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.